Hello and welcome to A.H. Shooting and Just Good Food. Today I'm going to be making some pheasant sagaloo. Sagaloo is an Indian Punjabi recipe and it is a curry that consists of spinach which is your sag and aloo which is your potatoes. So all I'm doing today is I'm adding some pheasant into it to kind of use some of the pheasant up that we've got in our freezers. Okay, so if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and give the video a like. And also if you would share it, that would be amazing. So here we go. Okay, so here I've got about four tablespoons of vegetable oil just heating up and I'm now going to just seal off the pheasant. So we're literally just going to seal this off and once it has been sealed we'll then take it out and get on with the curry mix. So it's been about four minutes and the pheasant is sealed off so we're just going to take it off the heat. So we've taken the pheasant out, we're now going to put in our onions. We're going to cook these on the same heat, medium to high heat, until it looks as though they're starting to caramelise. The onions are now starting to caramelise. Now I'm going to put in the spices. So here we've got one teaspoon of turmeric, one and a half teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of gram masala and a third of a teaspoon of chilli powder. I'm not putting so much chilli powder in because I am putting fresh chillies in as well. So it's easier if you give the spices a little bit of a mix up on a plate it kind of helps combine them before you put them in, in the pan. So I'm just going to turn the pan down a little bit just so it's on like medium heat because you don't want to cook these spices too quick because if you cook them too quick they'll burn and they'll go bitter and they'll just taste really horrible. If you cook them on a low heat it gives them time to cook and then you won't get, uh, you won't get the bitterness of the spices in. Once the spices are cooked out you won't taste any bits of the powder in. Okay. So this is going to take a couple of minutes for the spices to cook through. Just keep an eye on it, keep them moving, you don't get any of it catching on the bottom. Okay, it's been a uh, two or three minutes now. I know that these spices are cooked out, I can smell that they're cooked out as well. Now I'm just going to cool them down quickly and add you know, a cup of water. Just kind of help stop them from cooking so much. Brine. You don't want to bite, burn them spices like I say. I'm going to let these simmer. Then here I have got roughly two square inches of fresh ginger, finely chopped. I've got two tablespoons of fresh coriander, three large roughly chopped garlic and one large red chilli. Okay so we're going to put them in this mixture now and give it a good stir. I'm then going to add another half cup of water to this mixture and just give it five minutes to simmer. Another couple of minutes has passed so we're just going to put in three fresh tomatoes just quartered. This curry it, it's not really supposed to be a really saucy one it's meant to be sort of quite quite a dry curry so there won't be a hell of a lot of sauce to it. What will be there will be absolutely delicious. So we're going to give this another couple of minutes and then we're going to put the spinach in. It's been another few minutes now, these tomatoes are starting to soften up so now I'm going to put in the spinach which is the sag. The 200 grams here, it looks a lot, it, it really does, but this will wilt down and to like a kind of a quarter of the size of what it is now so don't worry about 
kind of putting too much in. So this is 200 grams of spinach going in. And then I'm just going to put the lid on so it can kind of wilt down. And then we'll come back to it after a couple of minutes. So we're just going to pop the lid on now. What I'm going to do is, is add another half cup of water, just to give it a bit of liquid to kind of help steam the spinach. Okay, another couple of minutes has passed. See how this spinach has really wilted down now, look. It's not taken very long at all, just two minutes that was. I'll give that a mix in. Now at this point, I'm going to give it some salt and pepper. Another mix. I'm now going to add the pheasant back into the pan and mix up with the curry mixture. I'm also going to add another half cup of water, just give it a little bit of liquid. We're now going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes with the lid on. Okay, so this is looking good. We've given it 10 minutes, so I'm just going to give it a further 2 to 3 minutes with the top now off before we put the potatoes in. I'm putting the potatoes in last because they're quite soft and we don't want them to break up whilst it's cooking. So we're going to put them in right at the end just before we serve it. Okay. This has had about 5 minutes reducing now, so I'm going to add the potatoes. Here we've got two large diced potatoes. I have pre-cooked them so they're already cooked. It just makes it easier so when you're serving you can get it straight up. Okay so I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of water into this mixture. I'm going to give this another five minutes under the lid and we'll come back and serve it. Okay this is had another five minutes and we'll call that done. Au voila! smelling really really nice um, this is it my pheasant sag aloo spinach and potato curry with pheasant so I'm just going to try a little bit of this and we'll see how it goes amazing like I knew it would be I've made this loads of times before And it never disappoints. It's just a really tasty dish. So sagaloo with pheasant. If you follow the recipe and follow the way that I did it, it will come out amazing. All the uh, spices and everything are absolutely spot on. So if you liked the recipe, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also give it a like and a share would be absolutely brilliant. I've had a new subscriber today and his name's Pete Haywood. So he's a winner. If you want to be a winner too, then hit that subscribe button and, uh, and you'll get your name mentioned and you'll be in the winners club. Ta-da! Damn easy as I think, you try your best to hold up but I see you giving in. You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this, we hurt each other's feelings on and on. I don't want to change who you are, the things you say is all.